WTFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We're in the Dow Industrials right now, trading up 48. NASDAQ is up 98. SP is up 24. Gold. Gold contract up $30.70, traded at 1823 an ounce. We have silver up 53 cents, $23.94 an ounce. Light sweet crude up uh, 243. $75.60 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year note traded uh, is trading up 30 ticks at 114.24. The 30 is up a full point, plus 17 ticks at 131.06. You get the 10-year right now yielding 3.5 in King Dollar. King Dollar is down 130, 1,000, uh, 1,132 ticks, 103.99, euro 106, yen 135.49, the British pound. Out here at 123 to 1 US dollar. Well, you got to see the SPs, folks. The SPs were actually up uh, 160 points. And the bottom line, it gave it up in spades. In spades, man. I mean, you take a look at this SP, we'll bring the futures up. Uh, they, it hit 30, 39, the 40 went 45. So right now, we're 130 points below it. You're up 20 points. Bottom line, this thing's going to go after the lows coming into the cl close. Um, so, this is what happens in bear markets, man. When you when you have accelerations like that, those are bear market accelerations. And this one came to fruition in a monster way. You know, it didn't have to. I can tell you that. But the bottom line, these are the types of moves that you get in a bear market. And uh, this is saying that guess what? No matter what happens out here tomorrow, um, more than likely it's not going to be good. So if we take a look at the queues. Same type of setup in the queues. So what you had here, this is what's going to be really intriguing too. So the big acceleration we had the last time was 74 million shares. That acceleration was on November 30th, I think. Yeah, November 30th, right? Uh, then it gave it up in price one day and then came down bottom of the consolidation again. You're going to have the same type of setup today. You're not going to hold price here. Holding the price would have been a close over 295. We made it up to 296 and now you're at 287. So uh, we'll see where this shakes out tomorrow. King dollar. But King dollar, they took down hard. That being said, uh, bottom line is that when you're down about 1,450 ticks, King Dollar decided that we're going to pop up just a bit. Now, King Dollar's still in trouble. There's no doubt about that, man. Um, you know, all last week it was trying to basically get the higher price. It's below the range right now. You know, it's certainly not below the last six months. That was 103, 438, but it's still in trouble. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.